What's going on my friends? Chris here. I want to bring you all an update today. And what we're going to be doing is the bear market tutorials. And I want to show you an indicator that's going to be extremely important for you in the space. And I've talked about it many times in my video, and that's the 200 day moving average here, guys. And what I want to do is look at ADA on the one day time frame, And we're going to take a look at this 200 day moving average. And this can correlate with many different stocks, commodities, obviously cryptocurrency. But with this 200 day moving average, what's so special about it, it's really gonna capture those major trends for you. So in cryptocurrency, I think the best thing that you can do is be a swing trader and a position trader. I think hodling, you're gonna get into trouble because you have those 80 to 90% drawdowns and you don't wanna experience those guys. I, I went through it in 2018, you don't wanna deal with that. They, you're tying up your money, you're losing money, there's opportunity cost, all types of problems. I, I really think swing trading and position trading, going for those longer, term trends in this space that's what's going to be most important for you in this 200 day moving average does that well and what you can see looking at ada here on the one day time frame just going back and we're going to look at this previous bull market and this previous bull market in white is going to be our 200 day moving average when we first got up above this 200 day moving average it wasn't on a ton of volume here guys so we broke up above it we back tested it and then volume started to come in from there and you can see this entire bull run right here, guys, from the moment that we back tested, we had a couple areas where we wicked down through, but for the most part, we closed up above it and stayed up above it all the way until roughly the 24th of November, 2021. And that was going to be at $1.82. So we went roughly from, see here, guys, about $0.04 cents to $1.82. And this entire uptrend was respected by this 200 day moving average. And then once we lost that, you can see up here, guys, around that 180, 190 area. Since then, we've been in a downtrend trading below it. So just buying when we get up above that, making sure that we have good volume and holding your position and riding it as long as we stay up above this 200 day moving average and have candle closes up above it. And we're showing strength. You can see the increased volume here. On this backside, look how low the volume's been. Obviously, besides the selling volume, but the buying pressure has been so low. We started to see a little bit more coming in here around this 30 cent range, potentially down around this 16 cent range is going to be the best opportunity if we do end up going that low. But you can see just dominated by this 50 day moving average and this 200 here. So, buying once we get up above with confirmed heavy volume on bullish candlesticks and selling out when we have bearish candlesticks on heavier volume to the downside, those can be some of the best position trades that you can have in this space. And you're letting the trend work for you as opposed to getting in and out of the market so much and having fees or whatever else you're gonna have, just all the stress and confusion. So looking at this 200 day moving average, guys, I think it's something that you need to have on your chart, especially when you're looking at the weekly and the daily and the four hour time frame, and it can really help you. But just go back test some of these things on Bitcoin, Ethereum, ADA, and you can see buying once we get up above that 200 day moving average with confirmed volume and selling out when we drop below it can be a complete strategy in itself if you have the patience to wait and really watch for these signals so right now for ada guys still trading below here but i just want to give this as an example i hope you like these let me know down low god bless you all